to forecast. It's uh, going to be kind of a nasty yeah. morning tomorrow morning. Let me show you, get you out the door right now. Here's what it looks like in Camden County. Route 42, you see the spray from the vehicles. Allow yourself some extra time if you're heading out late tonight or early tomorrow, really any time of the day, because we have the rain showers that are out around our region now, but it's now opened in terms of the storm door all this down to the south streaming on in the trend now bringing the rain farther back to the west which means more rain for most of the area so let's get to some of your bullet points here over the next few days first tonight we have the areas of off and on rain some patchy foggy spots as well the lows tonight not far off of where we are right now 47 in philly with off and on rain all night long down the shore 44 uh, lehigh valley at 43 degrees Less rain the farther west you are, the heavier rain the farther east you are. So down the shore, certainly going to get more rain there. Tomorrow, your Thursday, rain is likely, especially from I-95 and areas east. Here's your updated future cast. I want to walk you through starting with tomorrow morning. Plan on it being a wet commute. If you're traveling up and down 95, you're going to be dealing with the spray from the vehicles. You'll need your windshield wipers. Stop this at 10 o'clock in the morning and take it, say, to noon. And you can see that line is right along Interstate 95 where we have the rain and where we don't. Doesn't mean we're not going to get any back to the west. I do anticipate this during the afternoon. But also, I want to point out look how bright the colors are down the shore. This is by far where we are going to see the most of our rain because it's farther to the east where more of that weather system is, more of the energy. By three o'clock, some of that moves a little farther back to the west, and this goes right on into the early evening before it tapers off late tomorrow night. So, Consider it a rainy day tomorrow. Total rainfall, depending on where you are, a little bit of rain to the west, Philly, half an inch to three quarters of an inch down the shore, over an inch of rainfall. By this time tomorrow night, it starts to wind down. All right, so that's your rainy day tomorrow. What about Friday? Of course, as you know, that game has been postponed to Friday. Sunny and breezy, dry for opening day. We have a zero chance, zero percent chance of any rain, but it will be windy. Northwest winds, 15 to 25, with gusts to 35 miles per hour. So you're going to feel it's going to feel a little on the cool side, but tons of sun. If you're tailgating, you do not have to worry about that umbrella. You can leave it at home for the game. The poncho can stay at home as well. Plenty of sun, but as I mentioned, the winds are going to be working in here over that left field uh, wall. That's the northwesterly direction that that's going to uh, uh, maybe impact some of those balls that would normally go into left field. And then your weekend forecast, Easter weekend, showers later Saturday, Saturday afternoon and evening, but it does look dry for your Easter day. I wouldn't call Saturday a washout by any stretch. I do anticipate some sun in the morning and then the afternoon shower chances are going to be there. Uh, it's going to be possible later in the day, both days into the 60s. Really nice for your Easter Sunday. So that's kind of how it all puts together over the next several days as we look at our seven day forecast here. What we can expect is uh, more rain showers as we get on into next week. Of course, the beginning of April. Showers likely, temperatures in the 50s. It has been very wet as of late. The last four months, guys, over 22 inches of rain. Ooh. Almost a record. Back over to you. How